All right then, Husqvarna 401 Svart Pillen. Yeah, I mean, we wanted to have a go on one of these because they they look good, but I think they're like a, little, uh, they're a bigger Grom. And uh, as a second bike, I think this would probably be uh, better than a Grom. You know, you've got a bit more legs on them. And they do look lovely as well. Yeah, you can already tell it's it is, it's it's like it's like being on a big Honda Grum. So I'm just at the MCN motorcycle festival of motorcycling or BMF as it used to be called and British Motorcycle Foundation wasn't it before it's not called that anymore yeah I think one of these one of these would be much better see what it's like out on the road I remember how much this was it was about what, five or six grand brand new <laughs> it's a hoot to ride as well just like the Grom oh yeah this is good Oh, somebody's crash. Is that a bike crash? No. Just cars and cars. Yeah, this feels lovely. I wouldn't mind one of these. Seems to handle quite nice. That's it. <laughs> Top gear. How am I supposed to keep up and stay within the speed limits? They give you this, uh, oh, I'm not even going to go into it. Not even going to go into it. Got myself into enough trouble lately. It's more suited to the back streets, I think. And towns. I mean, a little bit more uh, twisty stuff, maybe. And hopefully that's what we're going to have uh, just now. It does handle nicely. And these kind of roads are perfect for this. And a lovely little engine in it really picks up well. That's a nice little bottom end torque fair bit of bottom end torque to give you. I imagine with a half decent pipe on as well, it'd sound lovely. It's got a nice tone to it. But it's very uh, it's very forgiving. I mean just then I was in too high a gear and that, that, that low end torque just lets you let you pull through it. Oh, this poor bike having to look me around. Can't see the people behind me at all. These mirrors are useless. The front, the front brake is very good. I keep slamming myself into the tank. I'm jumping on that front brake a little bit too hard there. And got quite got the feel for it yet, but it's very it's very responsive. Trying to catch a glimpse of myself in the reflection to see what I look like. Yeah, I look cool, I thought so. It does make you feel good, it is a nice bike to ride. Oh, 
it's a hard life in it, eh? Finding a brand new husky on a day like this. <laughs> these roads although they're riding them a little bit quick because all of these guys have been out on test rides multiple times yesterday and today and so they know these roads now because they do the same route all the time and uh, I've not been out yet so I'll get put at the front of the pack and trying to keep with these two First world problems, eh? <laughs> it is fun. <laughs> Great fun. Again, I don't like these mirrors much at all. I mean, I think uh, that guy's on a 701, isn't he? I thought he was on a 401. I thought, how oh, is he accelerating away from me that quick? I don't weigh that much. But no, he's on the 701 and I'm on the 401. I mean, it has got... I mean, when you're in the twisties like this, it's, it's got enough poke. It has got enough poke. You know, I'm having fun here. I'm not just pooling along. Well, you know, I am, I am, but I'm having fun while I'm doing it. And that's one of the main aspects, isn't it, that you want from a bike? How does it make you feel? Is it fun? I mean, yes, they can be more frugal with the fuel and more, you know, convenient with not having to filter. I mean, with being able to filter in the traffic so you can commute on it. It's often cheaper than buying a car, but it's not always all about that, is it? Especially if, you know, if it's gonna be your weekend toy as well, you want it to be fun. And this definitely is. Again, look, I was in fourth then, I should have been in about second, but it, it forgave me. I mean, some bikes, when you make mistakes like that and you're not concentrating, they'll just jerk you all over the place and you will... But this, it, the low-end torque just sort of helped me pull through it. <laughs> that red light flashing at me. Change up! Change up! I'm sorry, mate. I oh, know I'm a big fat heifer. I wasn't even planning on test riding this today. I think the uh, the test rides were full, and about halfway through the day at the uh, MCN show, the woman in the Husqvarna stand caught me just drooling over this, and uh, she managed to she managed to fit me in, bless her. And I'm glad she did because I, I do really like it. Obviously, I couldn't I couldn't really have this as my main bike because I have to commute between cities. And so some of the roads that I have to go on. Well, are you saying that? I think it has got the legs. I mean, it, when I was when I was on the Grom and you, and it sort of with, with me on it, it stops at like 60. It just will not go anymore. So the fact that this can do 85, I think it, I think it has got the legs. I think if you if you weigh as much as me, which is 16 stone, this could be your only your only bike. If you you know if you wanted it to, you got to know what you're buying though, obviously, know what it's capable of and what you're going to use it for. But as a commuter bike, as a weekend toy, as a second bike to something else. It's Bob on. I'd have one. Uh, 
anyway yeah overall overall it is a fun little bike and it I've said it before it looks like a big grom but now now I can say that it, it feels like a big grom as well except we're just a little bit more legs yeah, it's got that little bit more to give and anyway that was my little brief encounter with the Husqvarna 401 thanks for watching see you in the next one